Culture Club, brought to you by Hanum, the freshest bottled water made in Guam. Half a day, my name is Ron Afaji, um, founder of uh, Buritao. Um, since uh, 2013, I've been um, practicing and learning the art of uh, building traditional canoes and sailing of traditional um, canoes. Um, I've been doing this uh, for 13 years now, and uh, our organization is a nonprofit. And we get fundings to the government in, uh, with a few help with sponsors, but um, we've made this a full-time thing. It's a passion for the younger generation. What we're doing is, um, what we have done so far is we've built uh, four uh, different types of canoes uh, that are open ocean, uh, ocean going. And um, two of them are sheltered down at the boat basin. One of them's here since we don't have enough space at the home in, in, at the boat basin. Um, if this one is completed, it's ready for, uh, for sailing. Uh, we're building a double hull, which is back here. Um, this one is for inside the reef so that we can, when we get the younger generations to come out and, and participate, um, we start them off inside the reef so it's shallower, it's easier, they understand it, they feel more comfortable. But our job is to, is to perpetuate the tomorrow traditional seafaring. And for 13 years, that's what we've been doing, or I've been doing. Um, and we're preparing for the fest back in 2024 uh, in Hawaii. And all we do is, all I do is just teach. And whenever there's a, an, op an opportunity for those who want to learn, um, we're, all, we're always open to people who want to come in and, and do hands-on learning with, um, with what we do. Most of the work we do, uh, we, uh, do right now is, um, is preparing for a, a voyage uh, this year um, to Rota and back uh, with a crew of um, eight people uh, and two canoes. Um, so if anyone is interested and would like to want to come out and, and, and get involved and be a part of the culture, um, we're open to, 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 the, to the public and to the community. When we first started, when I first started, I was with the, I was with the late Manny Sakal back in 2007. And um, how we started out was with a log. We um, will take a log from the jungle, we'll cut it down, um, we'll look for the size. It's very hard uh, to actually locate one, but once you get one, then you, 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 you take it down and then you start squaring it off and then you haul it back to the shop and then start with uh, traditionally uh, what we do is we start depending on the size of the log if the log is not big enough which is no longer in existence we'll start making we'll, we'll build it up so we'll start with the center of the, the a log and then we'll start with the two ends and then we'll start doing planks in the middle so we'll build it up to make it high enough so that when we're outside uh, in open ocean we can take the swells and uh, and we're safe uh, when we're sailing so yes, um, the logs that we use are, are the trees that we use are Dok Dok, Daok, uh, Zoga, and Benalo. Uh, most of the supporting beams are um, is um, uh, Agao and um, yeah, just Agao and, and the Daoks, which is what we use. We um, we mend our own sail. We also sew our own sails so that we can um, teach the kids how to how to mend them. And you know, we do just about everything from taking it in, taking, doing the process of finding it in the in the jungle, and then bringing it out, and then building a canoe off of it. Depends on the, the amount of hands that participate. Um, I'm usually available every day, and um, uh, the, for the big ones that we did, uh, it was six of us uh, on a daily basis, five days a week and um, the big 33 footer took us uh, eight months. Uh, this one took us six. Uh, the double hole that you, we see down in, uh, in uh, Boat Basin also took us six months. But uh, it was happy labor. It was because it was a lot of people involved. A lot of the younger generations got involved. It's theirs, you know, they, their soul is in that canoe and every one of these canoes that we built. One of the most biggest challenge is the fact that we um, are seafarers. People come from the ocean. We have come from the oceans thousands of years ago. 
So learning and retracing that is, is it's a beautiful thing. For me, it is, for a lot of us, it is, but um, to want to retrace that and, and become that those people that were supposedly recognized as masters of, of the ocean, um, this is a good time to really practice this and come out and, and, uh, and for, for those who feel like they've, uh, there's a need for them wanting to be a part of the culture and want to do something with their kids, this is a good place to go to come to because then we can take them into the water, you know, in the ocean, we do, everything is safe. So we, we surround ourselves with safety and we make sure that you know, not, nothing happens to anybody. We're very good about what we try to do, but we're also passionate about wanting to perpetuate our culture, especially in the seafaring art, you know. So for those who want to come out, you're welcome to come. Um, you can catch us on Instagram. Uh, we have our Facebook um, and and we're there and you always see some kind of activity if we're not building a real canoe then we're building model canoes so those are things that we we try to get involved in, and some kids can take it home for them they can go go home and build their own model canoe and say i built this that's the beauty of what we're trying to do is recreate what our ancestors have left behind half a day my name is Rana Faji. Um, I'm founder of the organization, our nonprofit organization called Ulitao. We want to thank uh, the Culture Club for um, allowing us to be a part of this. Culture Club, brought to you by Hanum, the freshest bottled water made in Guam.